Hey, 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 beautiful people. Hola, mi gente. What's up? A bitch is back. I'm here with another reading recap. Save it because it's going to be a while till I come back because I'm going to be gone working at that rebirth retreat. Now, here's the message. It's a mistake to lose sleep over someone you don't wake up to. And I know that I know that I know that it was hurtful. I felt that shit right in my chest. Ouch. I know this is going to hit a nerve, but I've been this person crying over someone who refused to commit themselves to me after all I poured into them. I did everything for that person and I still was not a priority to them for them to commit monogamously. But there is healing available at all levels. But until you start realizing who you are, allowing yourself to go through these changes, to kill these old versions of yourselves and renew yourself and renew your inner power and your identity into this amazing shift that's coming, then this is going to keep happening. I've been there, I've done that, and I refuse and won't go back. I know it's difficult. I've cried over somebody who I will give, give my time to. I gave years, I gave my body, my love, my home, my money to invest in these people because they were so, there was so much potential in them. Remember though, potential doesn't mean shit unless they're gonna walk in that potential. And they usually don't, but they weren't giving me the same in return. I'm not saying there always have to be an even exchange of energy, but there needs to be somewhat exchange of energy i see so many of you pouring into people but you could be pouring into yourself making yourself the priority making yourself number one i say this all the time fall in love with yourself flaws and all if that's difficult for you to do and if you need some additional assistance let's see what's next for you right now i'm booking into august but i leave tomorrow to costa rica for the third annual rebirth retreat you heard me talk about this. My programs are opening again back up in August. There's limited availability. I start, you know, in August, the 12-week program where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, no recordings, no groups, no modules called Love Thyself. I have a six-month program, same type of deal, Love and Know Thyself. And then I have the 12-month program, the Soulful Mastery Entrepreneurial Program, which is basically a coaching business for 12 months. And if you don't know, the first six months is love thyself and love the know thyself. Because if you don't know who you are and you don't love yourself at that space, how's that's going to be a direct reflection how you use your money and how you use your business because it's the same place. And I know you heard me talk about this because I've done it myself. I actually worked on myself for four years before I even released this to the public in 2020. I've had clients do these packages more than once and make themselves a priority. It changes people's lives because it is work. It can be difficult, but it can be so amazing if you're ready to do that kind of work and pouring into yourself. Why aren't you working on your potential? Not everyone's ready and that's okay too, but just realizing what is it that you want versus what it is that you need. So at the end of the day, you could be pouring into yourself. You have potential. Why aren't you believing in your potential? But you rather believe in your partner's potential? You rather believe in your booze potential? You rather believe in your situationship's potential? Don't let me get going because I already know. But at the end of the day, you have to be the example for yourself. Why are you settling? Why are you giving someone, all of you, when they're only giving you a quarter or a fraction of what they have inside of themselves to you. They're guarded, they're blocked, they, they, or things have changed, things have happened between the relationship. And I get it, it's not easy. It's not easy walking away someone you, from someone you've poured so much into. But my question is, is, why are you loving them better than you're loving yourself? Why are you treating them better than you treat yourself? Why are you respecting their life, their choices, their dreams, their goals, their plans, their destiny, their vision, but not yours. Think about it. I'll wait.